Hello there internet dwellers, welcome back to another video. Today we are playing Home Safety Hotline. We played this before on the channel, it's basically you're playing as a call operator in the 90s and you have to help people with vermin and uh, infestations in their home, but they're not always just normal kind of infestations. There's some extraterrestrial and paranormal things going on in this game and uh, we've got to stick to the notebook and guide them through it. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're working as a call operator. Let's get into this. Logging in user guest, monitor complete. Okay, television commercial. Reset weekly, pro okay, let's, uh, let's watch the television commercial. Every year, thousands of families suffer, suffer, suffer injuries or even death from common household hazards. Hazards such as house fires, flooding, Black mold. Metamorphosis. Damn, okay, that one's different. Don't become a statistic. Call the home safety hotline and keep your family safe. So that is the majority of this game. 555, home safety. Right, okay, so mailbox. Let's have a look what's going on. There's a thing here from this is from corporate. Welcome to the home safety hotline family. We are pleased to have you aboard as our brand new home safety hotline responder. Your supervisor's name is Carol Regina. She will be calling you today to brief you on your duties and will be reviewing your work daily to ensure maximum accuracy. As a reminder, responders with a 90% accuracy rate or more will qualify to receive our daily employee coupons. Work hard and be rewarded with incredible savings. Sincerely, HSH Corporate. Let's jump into this home safety hotline. Monday. Welcome employee. To begin shift, please clock in below. Let's go, let's clock in for work. Here we go. I can't click my fingers that way. I can only, no, I can't even click them. Okay. Okay, so we've got bed bugs here. I'm guessing we're about to get a call from someone describing what we're doing. Uh, bed bugs are small insects known as for feeding them. Oh, here we go. Welcome to Home Safety Hotline, new employee. Hello. My name is Carol, and I'll be acting as your supervisor during your time here at HSH. Okay. Before you begin your first day here, let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You are an HSH responder. Mm -hmm. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. Yep. When a client calls, answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. When you've diagnosed their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard and we'll forward them safety instructions to address their problem. Okay. Welcome to the HSH family. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Any company that regards themselves as a family don't trust them. Run away. Unless it's a locally run family business. No. Run. Run for the hills. Bed bugs are not known to trans transmit any dangerous diseases and are relatively harmless to humans. However, their presence can often attract other pests that use them as a food source. Oh. First caller. Here we go. John here. My wife insisted I call this number. Okay. It sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. Yeah. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Specks of dirt. Just looks like coffee to me. I don't looks know. like coffee. You tell me, I guess. You tell me, I guess. Please All right, hold. mate. But I'm going to put you on hold here. Now, it could be black mold, but she said it was in the kitchen. Okay. Coffee. It's similar to coffee grounds. Okay. So, your problem, buddy, is cockroaches. There we go. All done. Okay, let's quickly read some of these through, just so we, uh, we have, a uh, okay, mice. Oh, there's an audio sample here. That sounds like a bird. Oh, hello. Hi, I'm so sorry. My name is Grace, and it's hey, Grace. probably nothing, but I thought I'd call just in case. Yeah. Lately, I can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound coming from my attic. Uh, it sounds kind of like, ee, 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 you know, it, it's that could be nothing. mice. I'm sure it could just be regular old house noises, but I just thought I'd call to ask and make sure. Please. Yeah, I think I think that's mice. I'm just gonna put mice straight away. It sounds very uh, similar to uh, what a mice does. You've actually got a demon in your attic. Grace, and I apologize, but you're going to die. Anyway, take care. Thank you for calling Home Safety Hotline. Goodbye. Uh, she's okay. Go over to a capable of biting humans and spreading deadly disease. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hank here. Hey, Hank. Last week I called your guys about some crap in my yard. 
Mm -hmm. I was told wasn't anything to worry about. Yeah. Well, guess what? There's more piles of crap in my yard. All right, can't listen to that. I'm talking sir. huge piles of brown out there. Wait, hang you on a sec. You better not tell me it's nothing again, because I know I've you? seen something moving out there. Okay, sir. Tell me what it is, so I can uh, take care of it once and for all. Okay, sir. Uh, let Please me put you on hold. hold. Now, to me, that sounds like... Uh, okay, they can become a pest to... Okay, this is a gopher. They become a pest to homeowners when they choose to burrow on their property, commonly damaging gardens. Now, it could be between this and... As a mole, uh, burrows tend to look like volcano-shaped mounds, and they, they're known to eat insects. So it's between moles and gophers. Yeah, it's got to be a mole. I'm going to say it's a mole. Huge piles of brown out there. Sorry, Hank, if this is the wrong answer, but, you know, life's a bitch. Then you marry one. I'm joking, okay? Let's not go with that boomer mentality, okay? Uh, homeowners are afflicted with... Ha do you mind? I'm trying to do my job. Sigmund here, just calling to inform you that uh, your refrigerator's been running loud over here for the past 45 to 90 minutes. Been running wild. Better head on over and catch it, big fella. Alright, thanks. Thanks for that. So you can have, like, multiple callers at the same time. Man, this is gonna get difficult, isn't it? Hello, hello? Hey, do you guys have a lawn mowing service or something? My good-for-nothing kid refuses to mow, and it's getting real crazy out there. Looking like a rainforest over here. A My rainforest. kid is complaining about being too sick to do anything about it. Meh, 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 meh. Stress of this stupid lawn's giving me a headache just thinking about it. Can you guys can you send some guys up to get this done? Okay. Please uh, hold. All right, by the sounds of it, your son's too sick to do, like... The lawn's too much. Okay, that's a termite, right? Or a tick found in tall grass. Yeah, yeah. There's your answer, Tim. You might want to get your son to a hospital, buddy. I think we're doing good so far. I think this is... We need to get a 90% accuracy rating. Your shift has ended. You have reached the end of your scheduled work session for today. Please clock out below. 100% accuracy, baby. Oh my God, I'm good at this. I should do this for a living. Complete your first day at home safety hotline. So now, is there going to be a video on the thing? Monitor setup completely. Yeah, about 10 one. Okay. So we're going quit before it's too less eight. You don't know me, but I used to have your job. You are in danger. Quit today before it's too late. You don't know enough. It's not too late to quit freely. Trust me. All right, let's log in for day two then. Here we go. This game gets weirder over time, guys. Okay, welcome employee. To begin shift, please clock in. Here we go, baby. Let's ruin some people's days today, shall we? Um, is there any new things we need to worry about? Nope. I think we're good. Are we going to talk to Carol now? Is Carol going to congratulate us for being really good? Or what is the accuracy rate that we need to get to, to pass to the next day? 90% is for the coupon. Oh. Hey, Hello? Carol. It's Carol again. Your Hi, it's I'm Carol. I'm you know that you have been granted access to additional household hazard information. Please be aware that this information is confidential and not to be shared with anyone outside of HSH. If you diagnose one of these hazards, we will be providing only information to the clients. That you know what HSH stands for, concerns. guys? Nothing more. Huffing Thank shit you. house. <laughs> Got him. Bad teeth? Homeowners infested with bad teeth often report mild discomforts when sleeping, such as tickling or itching, and more rarely slimy acidic residue, residue on their skin. Okay. Carbon monoxide? <sighs> Sorry, I'm a... <sighs> hey, Mike. Uh, Calling to see if you might know about anything I can do to... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anything you can do to uh, prevent pollen from coming in the house? I think there's something seriously wrong with my ventilation or something. Okay. Because I cannot stop sneezing. Right, okay. You're allergic <laughs> to something? In the past, I haven't had problems so long as I've stayed inside, but I think something is getting in. Something's getting in. Please the hold. demon's getting in. Uh, headache, seasonal lethargy, salad growths. Oh my goodness, look at that thing. Black mold. Uh, musty smell, allergic reactions or breathing problems. It could be that, mate. I don't know. Good luck. Good luck. Uh, I'm going to say it's black mold and just wish for the best. All right, so let's listen to the this salad growth. What, what does this sound like? 
Uh. About a common hub. Oh, come on, I'm trying to listen to hubs here. Do you know if there's such a thing as house thieves that clean? Like, oh. maybe to disguise the robbery? Desk hubs. At night, I keep hearing all this noise coming from my living room, but uh -huh. when I go look at it, I find the place spotless. But haven't yet found anything missing. I've talked with the cops, but they keep telling me to call this number. <laughs> so here I am. I'm waking up and everything's clean. What the hell's wrong? I like to live in cold. dirt. Uh, okay. Also, generally much more over rest your hair. I like to tidy homes. Yeah, you've got a desk hub. Keep it. Keep it around. What's the solution? I want to see what the solution is. Cannot be removed once a nest. To prevent further danger, measures to prevent metamorphosis should be taken as soon as possible. Is advised to leave breadcrumbs on the desk each night before going to bed. So you're stuck with this thing, basically. But you know what? Yeah, just just give it some bread and what? Tidies your home. Bro, that's amazing. You've got a little pet. I mean, it only comes out at night when you're sleeping, so you don't see it. And it cleans for you. Amazing. It's a win-win. Homeowners affected by house fires commonly report the smell of burning. Man, I watched... Oh. I watched a video by... Um, is it Nexpo? Yo, Buzz Goober here. Not but Buzz Goober. Heck of a time over here. I got these snappers itching and whooping and crying all over. Just all over the place, I got these whippersnappers yelping and whining, and I can't get a wink of sleep. She's trying to lay down over here. What you gonna do about all this? I've called about 5,500 times, and y'all <laughs> haven't done a thing about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Wait, so... Oh, I don't need to submit an answer. You're just trolling. All right, brilliant. Thank you for that, Buzz Goober. What a name. Jesus. I... I don't know what's going on inside my house. Okay. I hear something crawling in the walls. In the walls? I, think I found teeth marks on my bedposts. I can't sleep at night knowing there's something in my house. <laughs> Help me, please. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's... That's kind of please spooky. Hold. Um... Right, you're dealing with a termite, I think. Hang on a sec. Uh, because decaying plant material, particularly wood, homeowners with a termite infestation often report peen and paint, smell, small holes in the drywall, or squeaky floorboards. No, that can't be it. Is it bad teeth? Homeowners infested often report mild discomforts when sleeping, such as tickling or itching. No, there's something in the walls. These pairs sometimes report a faint rustling sound coming from their walls. Yeah, yeah, okay, this has got to be it, right? It's a, it's a carpenter ant. You're dealing with a carpenter ant, love. So the solution to this is you get a flamethrower and you burn down your house. That should take care of the problem. And honestly, that should take care of most problems. The house fire, actually, if you get a house fire, that's the answer to all your questions, right? To, you know, everything you need to know there. Hello? Hello, employee. Supervisor Carol here. We've received complaints, complaints that some of the answers that you have been providing have been inaccurate. What? Wh which ones? more carefully on the answers you provide before we are forced to terminate. You've been hey! Warned. You know what, Carol, from HR, go fuck yourself, all right? Don't give a shit. Acting all innocent. Hi, just a quick message. Um, yeah, we've been getting some complaint. I hate the passive aggressiveness, Carol. I'm gonna headbutt you, right? Right in the goober. Uh, oh God, who's this? This is gonna be a... Do you guys handle security? I need home security installed. Someone's breaking into my house and going through all my stuff at night. I know what? it's Bob from accounting. He's always been envious of me. I know what you're doing, Bob. Going through my papers, taunting me with your organization skills. Oh, it's I a need desk your home security equipment. Pronto! <laughs> okay, mate, calm, calm down. All right, I'm a human too. I wouldn't last in a uh, call center like this. My God. I'd get so annoyed so quickly. I don't know how people, I just don't have the... Oh, hang on. Let's have a look at pipe growth. Oh, 60%. Well, as long as it's just the, the little things and I, I don't end up freaking killing people with like demons and stuff. Oh, here we go. There's a, there's a video on the, on the desktop here. The real estate update. Lake Avenue, one bed, two bathrooms, 1,000 square feet, $84,000. My God. 
It's a good price. Four bedroom, 120 grand. What the hell's wrong with this place? The, the, the house is probably made of paper mache. Oh. Community alert, a civil authority has issued a missing persons alert for the following counties. Bush County, Maple County, Parkway County, Berry County. Missing people. Is that where we are? Do we, uh, do we live in this that location? Missing persons alert. Authorities are currently looking for missing child, Robbie Parker, male, brown hair, approximately four feet Robbie tall, Parker. last seen wearing a yellow shirt, brown shorts, and white tennis shoes. Suspect uh -oh. is described to be approximately six feet tall, barefoot, wearing a large bush or shrub mm. on their person. Last Was seen freaking... at approximately 10.25 a.m. Please report. Any what the f look at this place that's a fixer upper 12 grand for a five bedroom six bath what is going on here sorry i was distracted by the freaking um this price here i don't know about the the whole missing persons so you're telling me there's a there's a bracken out there that's how, that just sounded like a bracken it's too late for you now they gave you access to more info didn't they i wanted i warned you if you end up like me join me in this hole they haven't found me yet it's safe here what hole this hole attention call team our network team is migrating our back-end services over to a new hosting provider this week so you may experience some occasional network errors over the next few days please be sure you are studying your information entries carefully while you still have access in case the network goes down while you're on the phone with a client really oh great i've already got shit memory as it is welcome employee to begin shift please cock in cock <laughs> <laughs> Please cock in. Uh, anyone who's a frozen pipes may report strange facet smells banging and whistling coming from pipes. Okay. Hello? Hello. Supervisor Carol. Carol, I, I am We've fed up of you. You should now have access to more extensive information to really? with for your future calls. Did you not Please see how bad- Please be sure to read these new entries carefully so you can continue providing our clients with accurate diagnoses. Right. Please remember that this information is strictly confidential and not to be shared with anyone unless pertinent to a caller's needs. Thank you. Right, you trust me with this. You, you know how badly I... Oh, Lamp Sprite, what's this? Lamp Sprite are a common subspecies of Sprite that make their home inside lamp fixtures. They are known for causing the lamps they inhabit to flicker or burn hotter, sometimes causing a burning smell in the home. Memory Wisp. Oh. The audio sample provided above is incorrect. This issue will be corrected by the end of the month, okay? Um, visible, uh, invisible and odorless household wisps that are known for removing memories from the home. Oh my god! There's something in the basement. I've seen it. It's huge, almost as big as my dog. It doesn't hiss or growl or anything, but I haven't gotten close enough to it to find out what it is since it's always just lurking out of sight from the top of the stairs. I okay. need someone to come get this thing out of my basement as soon as possible. I've locked the door since I can still hear the steps creaking under its weight down there. Okay. That, Please hold. Is that a stair slug? A uh, large dog size. Yeah, this got to be it, right? That's disgusting. All right, it's either a stair slug or a cellar thing. Let's just submit stair slug. It could be a cellar thing, dweller or whatever they're called. What? Okay, let, what, what's that other one called? A cellar what? Cellar growth. Whistling fungi. Oh my god, give me time here. It frequently grow through drywall gaps, cracks, uh, often report whistling sound. It's still crawling in the walls! Those instructions you said didn't work at all! I'm going stir crazy here! I still haven't been able to sleep! I hope you all rot! Thank you for calling Home Safety Hotline. Wine Sprite. Oh my god. A subspecies of sprite that are known for consuming wine. Is that this is just women? <laughs> <clears throat> they have a lo Fuck off! Sorry, hang on. Yep. Yeah. Hello? Hey, uh. Peter? I've been hearing some really weird noises coming from the bathroom faucet recently. I'm not yeah. sure what it could mean. You got frozen it pipes, just mate. Makes this nasty sound anytime I run it. Along yeah. with this. Nasty smell? Uh, nasty smell. Yep. Yeah. Okay, Peter. Uh, last Please name hold. file. Uh, you you have frozen pipes, my good sir. Uh, so best way to deal with that is uh, utilize a plumbing service. So we're gonna send some person out 
for the small price of $350. Um, and if you can't pay for it, we'll take your home. Thank you, Peter, for calling. Call us next time. False Rosebush. Uh, Plant-like creatures that commonly take on the appearance of a red rosebush. Uh, homeowners with false rosebush sometimes report missing pets or children. Oh, so this is the thing. Oh, God, look, he's got feet. This is the thing that took that four-foot child. What's good, Quaid? Okay, Quaid, I think you're, you're having a mental Please break. Uh, what could that be? Mirror nymph? Not being able to recognize their own face. Well, that's okay. Um, could it be a... What's a boggart? Ah! Okay, you can't recognize your, your wife's face. See, that sounds like a mirror nymph to me. But this says your own face. I'm sorry, Quaid. I know you're having a bit of a moment right now, buddy. I can't see her face. Yeah, yeah. Let's just go with mirror. It's not the right one. It can't be the right one. But you know what? It's all we've got. So, sorry, Quaid. Uh, okay. Hey, your yeah, name's Fred Pinball. I'm Fred Pinball. I'm a complaint against your place of business. Whatever. I have never seen such a big old mess left behind by your pest control team. Just tons of twigs, sticks, and Pebbles saw it and I ain't putting up with it no more. I got sawdust coming out of my drawers here. I had to grab you by the goober and smack you around till next Sunday. <laughs> oh, what's it gonna do? What's it gonna do to make this right? <laughs> I'm not gonna do anything, Fred Pinball. Get out of here. So what was the whole like face going missing thing? What was that? Uh, oh, yep. Uh, hi? I, uh, have no idea what's happening. My sheets are growing nasty sharp things on them, and my legs itch like crazy. Okay. Do I need to be showering more often or something? I usually shower, I'm... like, once a week for my skin health, so maybe that's it? Bro, you disgusting creature. Mate, you need to wash your sheets. Like, yeah, you you can wash yourself every day, but you're getting into a dirty fucking bed with your dirty ass. Go wash your anus, Harvey. Yeah, th these are bed bugs, m maybe. Bed bugs or bad teeth? Fuck. Yeah, it's gotta be, right? It's gotta be bed bugs. Because bad teeth is trouble sleeping. But then again, bad teeth makes sense. Oh, shit. God, so now I have to basically guess what the rest are. What was that thing? It was called a, what, a boggart. God, I reckon I'm going to get fired today. This is not looking good. Oh God, here we go. What are these useless instructions you sent me? I still can't remember her. I still oh can't shit. Her you can't remember her. I thought you meant like your wife was dead in front of you and you couldn't see her face. Oh God, this was a memory thing. This was a freaking, what's it called? Memory wisp. Oh, you could have been more clear about that. Again, you said she's dead, like she, she, he said she's dead and I can't see her face. You know what? I'm tired of you, Quaid. Don't ever call back again. Hey, Wanda. Hello? number to ask about my problem okay the wall in my bedroom doesn't look great near the bottom the bottom of the wall has some cracks or maybe it's peeling i'm not sure okay i have a cat named whiskers and sometimes he likes to sharpen his claws at the couch but he would never do that to the wall he yeah. knows just how naughty that would be yeah right Please so hold. i think what you're dealing with there wonder is um yeah you're dealing with termites and the only solution to termites once again is to burn your house down to the ground they often affect the animals disposition cause them to be drawn to the soil homos often report pets furiously digging around or inside their home 
Okay, please don't be a bad call. No. Do you think this is some kind of joke? Oh god. Last week I called you guys about some weird noises I had coming from my living room. And the info package you sent me said something about leaving out a bowl of cream? What kind <laughs> of joke is that? It's been a week now that I've been dealing with this racket, no thanks to you, and now we're starting to have power outages. Oh. Your employee's stupid joke is now probably going to cost me who knows how much in repair costs. So talk to your manager and tell them Wait. they owe me big time. This was last week. You figure out what's going on in my house, and you figure it out. Now! Right, Gary, please just calm hold. down, please. Um, there's no need, no need to be like that. So, living room. It could be a just a hob, a common hob. Okay, I think just, yeah, go with this one, mate. It's a common hob. I don't know, Gary. If this doesn't work, then it, it is what it is, okay? Oh, God. God, this is... What's happened? Hello, employee. Supervisor Carol here. We've been watching you for some time, and I must say that we have been rather disappointed in your performance here. Many of our callers' lives have been altered for the worse thanks to your negligent answers. Your failure to treat your work here with the gravity it deserves has unfortunately forced us to make a very difficult choice in no! regard to your continued employment. At oh, come on! Effective immediately, your employment here has been terminated. We wish you the best in your future endeavors. Oh, fuck yourself, Carol. You don't mean that. Why don't you deal with these callers? What the fuck? What's happening? Oh, no, we've been turned into a freaking... What is that? A mouse? Oh, great. Okay, interesting. Okay, I'm going to give this one more. Power waves of home safety hotline. Okay, let's give this one more bash. Go away. Hello, Supervisor Carol here again. Oh, We've updated we just... your permissions. I don't care. Right. Tea Sprite. Near kitchens. Unicorn fungi. Whistling fungi. Uh, whistling. Oh, God, here we go. It's huge, almost as big as my dog. Please okay. hold. Yeah, so that definitely is a stair slug. That's de that's got to be a stair slug. Oh god. Okay. Yep. Yeah, come on. It's still crawling in the walls. I don't care, Michelle. You said didn't work at all. I don't care. I know it's so crazy here. Yeah. I See you later, Michelle. Thank you for calling. Appreciate that. No. Okay. Yeah, Please don't worry, hold. Quaid. I know I can deal with this one, buddy. You're dealing with a memory wisp. Get on out of here, Quaid. I don't know what it could be. Uh, hi. That's shutting things on my legs. It's like uh, crazy. Do I need to be showering more often? I have no idea what's happening. Please hold. Ah, shit! You know what? For this one, I'm just gonna put bad teeth. Oh, bed, bed teeth. Oh, it's bed teeth, not bad teeth. Why am I? Why did I read bad teeth? My God. All this time, bad teeth. <laughs> no wonder I didn't select it. That's why I called you guys about some weird noise I had coming from my living room and the info package. Shut up. And the inf. Uh, last week, okay. Uh, about leaving a bowl of cream dealing with this racket no thanks okay power outages as well i'm gonna say that that that's a that's a clue right there i let oh jesus christ is it a boggart okay maybe it's a boggart i don't know sorry gary please don't be wrong i think it might be a boggart oh god if i get a phone call from carol i'm gonna fucking i'm gonna flip Whoa! 100%? No way! Oh my god! Okay. We're gonna do one more day, I think. Or maybe we can make it five days. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see uh, We'll see how we're feeling. Wednesdays, am I right? <laughs> yeah, you're right, man. Um, okay, let's have a look at science mysteries. The Mysteries of Science. Sponsored by Stephen Hawking. Science Mysteries. Hell nah! 
The mystery of mice. Mice. One of humanity's oldest friends and hmm. oldest enemies. Yes. From the black enemies to the shelves of our pet stores. Oh. Mice have lived alongside humans for centuries. Yep. And just like humans, mice may even be evolving alongside us as well. Hang on a sec. The, 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 what? There's something going on with this mice thing because when you get unemployed, you turn into one or a mouse. This is a mus musculus. Mus musculus. known as the common house mouse. Yeah. And this is mus musculus loquentis. Loquentis. Otherwise known as the smart mouse. The a smug newly mouse. discovered species, known for its uniquely colored iris, oh. and more importantly, its increased intelligence. They are capable of thinking quite intelligently. Yeah. And in the case of the smart mouse, perhaps even capable of communication. Oh, that's the guy on the email. With I'm the talking to a mouse. Computer technology, today's scientists have been able to interpret the previously indecipherable squeaks of a smart mouse and have discovered what seems to be hidden messages within. Okay. Let's take a listen. Okay. What? What do you think? I don't know. Is this a wonder of evolution? Or are we just hearing things that aren't there? Yeah, I think we're just Do hearing mice things. mice and men have more in common than previously thought? Of mice and men? Well, I suppose that's what makes this a science yeah. mystery. A science mystery. All right, interesting. So let's see if this mouse man's... Introduce our new office pet. A kitty cat man, yeah! Little whiskers. He's refrained from picking up or feeding whiskers as he is going, getting to know everyone in the office and has scheduled feeding time. Oh, look at the boy! I'm feeding him, I'm, yeah. I don't give a shit. Okay, let's just move on, shall we? Let's let's play one more one more here. Please don't be Carol. Ah, oh, fuck Hello. you, Carol. Supervisor Carol here again. Ugh. I've been watching the closely employee. I'm impressed so far by your dedication to accuracy. Sure. I have once again updated your permission so you should have access to more extensive household hazard information. Brilliant. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest nope. upon thee. Our eyes rest upon thee. A sherp. <laughs> Travel gnomes are a highly invasive subspecies of gnome that are known to stow away inside the luggage of unsuspected travelers. They are found most commonly in highly forested areas of the globe. Hello, Ash? I think the map is something wrong with her faucet. Oh, faucet. Recently, I've been having the worst kind of stomach bug, just aches and pains constantly. Uh huh. But after a month, it still hasn't gone away, and I'm thinking there's got to be something wrong with the water, because we only eat fresh homegrown fruits and vegetables here and we ain't never had any problems until now oh i keep hearing things about rusted pipes and water poisoning and all kinds of terrible things that can bro you ate water, a freaking so beet send someone out to get this fix for us it's not the water mate that's not the water I'm sorry, that's old. that's a false beat I, I swear that's a false beat if i've ever seen one yes oh my god mate you need to get that out of you right now you're, you're eating a false beat Oh my goodness, hello. The police hello. told me to call this number, so hello. I, uh, hope I got the right number here. I think somebody is stalking me. I can see their shadow at night at my window, just staring into the house. Oh. When I close the window, I can still hear him out there, breathing. I've been sleeping on the couch every night this past week, just so he won't see me. So what is it, a, a night laundry... Night gnome. Ah! Small, hairy creatures with a pointed head. They are known for their tendency to enter the sleeping quarters of humans to watch them while they sleep. Ah! Okay. Well, let's listen. Imagine hearing that out your window. Jesus, Felicia. You need to take this more seriously. You've got a night gnome. I think we did that one. All right, what's this? I just, something caught my eye then. Hang on a sec. What, what was it called? The hoard is an invisible, odorless collective consciousness that is known to collect and store large quantities of common household refuse. Okay, it is advised to sell one's home at first sight. Oh, God. Okay, so there's no, there's nothing. Please help me. Yeah. The police refused to do anything. They told me to call you. Okay. So please, Why? Please what's going on? Jeremy is always so concerned about bees and, and wasps and stuff. <laughs> I miss him. <laughs> I miss him so much. <laughs> Help 
Sure. Oh. Why are the police not dealing with these? What, what, um, a person's gone missing. They go, you know what? Call that hotline. So my guess is it's a false... Hang on. Floor roots. Ooh. Ugh. Rosebush? They used to chase down prey homeowners with false rosebush. Sometimes report missing pets or children. Okay, that's in the garden, though. So could there be something like in... um? He said hearing bees or something. Plus, uh, human design objects that can manifest suddenly inside a home. They are known for making gentle buzzing sounds. Buzzing sounds. And that's why he's talking about bees. Because he thought they were bees, but it was actually a TV. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is what? A false artifact. It, this has got to be it. May, I'm sorry, but your son's just been sucked into a TV. Okay, there's nothing you can do. Apologies. Come and remove the object. Should a pet or loved one already be encased within, one can utilize a memory whisk to speed up the grieving. That is horrific. Hi. I'm Hi. concerned somewhat Hi there. about the stability of my new home. Yeah. I recently finalized the purchase and naturally afterwards found that there are several large cracks in the walls of the basement that the were basement? not previously disclosed, as well as several pieces of half-eaten cheese littered across the basement floor. I haven't been able to get in contact with the previous owners about this, and I'm wondering if you can offer Jeez. any kind of legal advice. Legal advice? Bro, we can't oh. offer legal advice. All right, let's have a look at the cellar stuff first. Cellar grotto. That's not it. Cellar growths. That's not it. So the immediate thought there was it's a fractured hob. Cause cracks and fractures in the walls of the homes they inhabit. They are physically smaller to... Okay, with the exception of Jeremy Longer, Wilder. I think foundational issue. Yeah, that's got to be it. It's a fracture hob. What about seedling? I haven't seen that one yet. Hey, so my doctor told me I should call Your doctor? Summer. I have no idea why. He won't tell me anything. He said you could help, so here goes nothing, I guess. Yeah. Um, so I've recently been having just the worst headaches, and just barely I woke up and felt my eyes were starting to look kind of pink. I'm really freaked out right now, and I'm not sure what I have. I can't find anything online. Can you help me? Your eyes are pink. You've been farting on your pillow, buddy. Uh, let me just have a look. It could be carbon monoxide. Fuck. Okay, I'm going to say that is carbon monoxide. It's just probably not right. It's probably the Fay flu, but I haven't, I haven't seen what that one is. Hang on a sec. Let me just send this over. Oh, no. Has it gone down again? Oh, shit. Seedling, what's this? Oh, it doesn't matter, does it? Here we go. Alright, I'm gonna need someone to explain what in the name of Christmas is happening to my living room. I'm yeah. back from vacation and the house is already turning into a disaster not 24 hours later. And my living room is absolutely covered in soil and plants. Looks like a gosh darn nursery in there. What is happening is... Is this what happens when you buy a bad rug or something? A bad rug? Covered in soil and plants. So there's a vice of Quidos. Okay. False rose bush. False beat. False artifact. Fay flu. Fay feast. Could it be a Fay feast? No. Fay flu. What's that? Ah, oh, shit. That's what the guy had. Fay flu. It was the one thing I didn't read. No. Pipe hob, pipe growth, portal, raccoon, seed. It's got, this is the only thing I can think of it being a seedling. But it says outside, but this is inside. Screw it, it doesn't matter. Oh. Hello again. Yeah, I'm kind of having an emergency now thanks to the info you sent me not being effective in the slightest. Uh. This living room plant situation has only gotten worse. Now the floorboards and walls are starting to groan under the weight. There's something hiding in tall grass by the couch, and I don't think it's friendly. Oh, God. Oh, God, it's moving. Oh, it's moving. Tall grass? You didn't mention that bit. What was it? Oh, was it a travel gnome? my basement i don't know what it is all i know is when i open my basement door it smells like a damn sewer and i can hear it making all kinds of horrible noises okay it sounds like there might be a lot of water down there too i don't know what it might be doing down there but i have a feeling it's causing a whole lot of damage uh -huh. please send somebody to help is with this 
a seller group. Deal with something like this. Please All right, hold. mate. Give me a sec. All right. Uh, I think it might be. This might be a grotto. Yeah, it's, it, it, I think it's a seller grotto. Because it says here about the creator often resides somewhere within the grotto's sub subterranean lake. 77.77778%. Mine got. I think we did it. All right, what we'll do is we're going to watch one more of these videos, and I think we'll call this one quits. And then, um, well, I don't think there is a video. Never mind. Let's have a look at the mailbox. Do not come to the hole. Ugh. The hole is breached. I repeat, the hole is breached. It's not safe here. Must find a new spot. It knows I'm here. Uh, well, you know what? Maybe I'll continue that in another episode. Because uh, I think this is can be like a two-part game. Is that something in the distance over there? What is that? But there we go, guys. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to let me know down below. Leave a like rating, subscribe, all that good stuff. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.